Hello there guys and welcome to FDMO. My name is Nelly and I'm over here giving you the tools and resources to manage your trade and psychology on fire. I hope you all are doing well and today I'm going to talk about what trade and psychology actually is and why is it so important for us. So when it comes to trading, psychology is often overlooked, but forms a crucial part of a professional trader skill set. Traders experience a range of emotions while trading, which affects their interaction with the markets. To become a profitable trader, you need to learn to identify certifying emotions like anger, greed, fear and panic. It's important to understand that our emotions heavily impact our actions. And negative emotions like fear and greed have the same unfavorable influence on our decision-making processes as positive emotions such as overconfidence. Imagine that situation when you are hesitating because of that fear within you. It can be fear of missing out or fear of losses. When you feel like this, you cannot perform as well as if you would just observe the charts without these anxious feelings, right? You can be super skilled and have a strong knowledge when it comes to trading, but if you leave your emotions unchecked, it can still lead to disaster. Therefore, it is necessary to have strong self-discipline and healthy self-belief. You have to stay focused and improve your resilience. You should also learn to always check how you feel before you start a trade because as you will find out, trade and psychology doesn't focus only on the emotions which we experience during our trades but also on our mental well-being overall. This relates to trading more than you can imagine and if you start to journal your emotions before and after all your trades, you will find out that there is a correlation between how you feel before your good trades and after them, and also a correlation between your feelings and losses. And that is all right, it is natural. You will always feel a certain way when you have a profitable day or when you lose. It is impossible to be robotic. And even if you will talk to the best traders out there, they will tell you that they feel in a certain way. You just need to find out what works the best for us. Are you an early bird? Then trading during the evening or night hours isn't really the best option for you. Are you going through a tough situation during your life right now? And all you can focus on is only getting that money? Maybe you should have a total break from trading and trade only on your demo account. Trading psychology is not only about handling your fear and greed. It is about our self-awareness. It is about our awareness of the situation we find ourselves in. About awareness of our environment, of our lives. Trading psychology refers to the emotions and mental state that help to dictate success or failure in trading securities. Trading psychology covers plenty of aspects there are hundreds of elements that you need to take into account. This includes our personal characters and behavior that influence our trading actions. Aren't you overconfident? Do you really believe in that strategy you've been using? Psychology is a part of trading that you won't find in your daily charts, but is essential for trading success. Sometimes it requires removing internal blocks which you may have unintentionally created and which may have become self-limiting and pursuing self-affirming belief patterns and reinforcing your inherent strengths instead. To ensure that you are well positioned for moving forward towards your goal, you need to develop the tools, insights and psychological strategies as we believe that great traders are not born, they are made. It is as important as other attributes such as knowledge, experience and skill in determining trade and success. Because if you won't master your mindset and discipline yourself, there is a zero chance 
you will become consistently profitable. It requires real dedication, consistency and time. But trading is a marathon, right? Not a sprint. No one will become a consistently profitable trader overnight. We must master our mindset and emotions when we are dealing with losses and also when we are dealing with profits, market movements, etc. Our main goal is actually to get to know ourselves the best we can, to handle our flaws, use our strengths to our advantage and get that ideal mindset, that attitude. And it doesn't mean to experience any losses. It means to become profitable thanks to that. Thanks to this mindset, we can actually get the results we've been wishing for. Trading psychology helps us to understand our emotions and mental state. And thanks to that, we can perform at our highest level. But there is no general advice. We are all different, all unique, and everyone needs to work on different things, use a different approach. What works for someone who tends to be overconfident won't work for others who are still underestimating themselves. You need to invest your time, test and refine what works for you. And during this journey, you will get to know yourself better. You will be your worst enemy, but you will be the only one who you will have to find against. Also, if you haven't done yet, hit the like and subscribe and don't forget to follow FTMO on all social media. And I'm looking forward to seeing you soon in the next video.